Hey everyone, it's Belinda with VegCraft. I'm super excited as I was able to get some more coolers for my supplier today. Um, I got enough to make two. I did have to improvise and use an extra one for my old builds that I had left over, but it has still worked once I trim off some sections. But let me show you the supplies that I'm using to achieve this. The power grip is my number one go-to. That is what I use as my adhesive to glue down all of my styrofoam pieces to each other. Um, I use it with a cock gun. My secondary choice, which I've used in the past, is this fast grip. It does work. I've had a little bit of problems with it coming undone over, say, two years, and I have to re-glue it down, but not with the power grip. I have not had any that has come apart, nothing at all. So that's my number one go-to. Um, then I've got my coolers that I've got. Let me turn you around. So these are the coolers that I use. Um, this section, that is five coolers, same size. Um, I had to use my spare, which is that one. So I'm going to have to shave off those lips that you see to make it match. Otherwise, it's going to be perfect. That's a, another type of cooler, which the tops, I'm going to have to cut that top here goes to that cooler the bottom cooler so I'll cut that cooler top to match that size that's what I did prior so there's really no difference in the prior coolers I used to these except for there's less prep work meaning take off cut off those lips if you do get coolers that have like those lips on it they're easy to take off I'll show you in this tutorial um, but this is what they kind of look like individually. So here's the, the main cooler, which are these five. That's what the inside looks like. The outside and the bottom. That's my bottom cooler, which has the top to match right there. That is place for my bottom um, pedestal, so to speak. So that's the inside. That's the side. And that is how I lay it within the coolers like that. So here's the top that I'm talking about that goes with it that's the top I've even used these to make um, I get styrofoam headstones and I notch out a hole right here and I slide the, the headstone in and it gives it a base which is very cool so that's a dual purpose but yeah so this lid here this is what I'll be cutting I'll be trimming off this lip Cutting it down to size for that. My past prior ones, which are these, um, that was cut. But I want these ones bigger because I'm going to put these at the main entry. I'm going to use five of the, the ones that stack up. And then I'm going to use that pedestal bottom piece. And I'm going to use one top. So these new coolers, um, they're a slight taller than the prior ones that I did use. But I want that, and the reason is because I'm going to use those as my entry columns. So they're about six inches bigger, maybe eight, once I'm finished with the total build, which is going to work out perfect for me. But stay tuned um, and watch what I do. Thanks for viewing. Hey everyone, it's Belinda with Bitchcraft with um, how to remove the lips or anything that is poking out. So the lips I'm talking about is if you can see here. They are, I don't know, a quarter of an inch raised, which I don't want anything that has a raised lip on it. So I'll be removing those. Also, on my top, since I do use them, I'll be removing this piece and cutting about that much off for the top of the cocks. So stay tuned. I'd first like to go outline the lips at the very
very bottom. Disclaimer, this is how I do it. If you have another way that you would like to prefer to do it, like a solder gun, because it melts it. I've got one, I just don't like the fumes. I'm using a steak knife to cut through the styrofoam as pictured. Or you can get a styrofoam cutter. Um, it's like a wire. You can look on YouTube on how to make one. I don't have one. If you do use a styrofoam cutter, or solder guns, you need to be outside or in a well ventilated area.
space where my knife can go. I can go and cut and watch. But I'm not cutting too much off. Remember, you leave more on this side, you can sand it. It's Belinda with an update. I just finished removing all the packing tape from the free styrofoam coolers that I get. Next will be to remove all the paper packaging labels that's on it. So after that, um, I can start glowing and doing my faux brick. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Tell everyone about Fishcraft. Thanks. Hey everyone. So in order to get the paper labels off, if you have any, is a 120 sand and block shown here and water. So here's the process. First, sand all you can. Majority comes off with just a light sand. For the ones that don't, lightly mist it. It's called wet sanding. on three.
a power grip adhesive only took minutes because as you see I'm picking up the coolers already make sure to stay tuned for part two that's where I'm going to be adding caulking around all of the seams and then faux bricking it stay tuned guys <laughs>